Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, we're taking a look at 007 Legends. I got Tim Turry playing the game. Hey, Reiner. Hey. You a big James Bond fan? Yeah, they did the uh, the gun barrel intro. They haven't done that since uh, Casino Royale, which they even didn't really do the original one. It was like that black and white intro, and then it showed Bond through the, the gun barrel. But well, uh, if you're a Bond villain and you enter an all-white room, and you're looking down your sights and you see Bond walking in, do something. Move. Yeah. Yes. Shoot him shoot every him time. Guy dies with one shot. And it's just like a white room, you yeah. know? It's just like Bond. Like the Matrix. Just, like, what, how is he hiding? Well, he's, he's, so, Daniel Craig oldest? is now in the new movie that's just coming out. This game Ooh. looks like an N64 game right after that. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you're you're saying uh, this is this is this is from the new movie. Yeah, Skyfall, which yeah. is the sequel to Skyrim. Yes. <laughs> Present day sequel. Skyfall of Man. I don't know who's who. Two men in business suits fighting on top of a train. It's Money Penny, right? Or M? Uh, that was M talking. Bond got grazed in the ribs. And taken thrown off a cliff. Taking a Skyfall. Now, well, that's kind of depressing. Grim, yeah. This is like Max Payne. What? It's like he's having some flashbacks. Yeah, he's in the Animus. This is like he looks like he's looking at his uh, Skyrim skill trees. <laughs> I remember that one. That was lock picking. So basically, from what I understand, I talked to Dan a little about this. Uh, the whole game goes through Bond's memories, and you're playing through famous moments from the Bond franchise. And so this is him. You know, he's he's on the edge of death, and he starts to have these flashbacks, which is weird because Casino Royale, the first Daniel Craig movie, was a reboot. Right. You know, it's a new Bond, so he never actually lived these unless Bond is some sort of clone that has remnant memories. No, it's the Animus. It's from uh, Assassin's Creed. He's going okay. into the genetic memory of Pierce Brosnan, all those guys yeah. that are actually his brothers. Uh, that's actually more interesting than probably what um, this game is going to deliver. I, I speak from a place of... I, I reviewed the Wii. Oh, so we're starting with uh, some, some Goldfinger stuff. That's what this is. Goldfinger covers a lady in gold in Goldfinger. Ta-da. Um, but Eurocom developed the the GoldenEye remake for Wii and then the uh, the 360 PS3 HD version. And we gave I gave the Wii one a 6.5. Marky Fava gave this a 7. Uh, or gave the, the HD remake a 7. And Dan reviewed this game for us and gave it a 4. Oh, he did not like this game at all. He says it is buggy as all get out. He was showing me a lot of bugs. Guys and running the into gun walls. Play, yeah, the gunplay not being very good. Ooh. Is this the new one by... Nope, this is the classic theme. I think Muse did the new song for Skyfall. Oh, yeah. So cell phones didn't exist back when she was painted gold, right? Right. So they're doing that kind of merging of modern with, with classic... So a what if if uh, Goldfinger took place today? Right, because that did happen. I think in the original Goldfinger, she was on the bed, and then he immediately used the phone or got a call. I do like that they have the theme though. That it's the Goldfinger theme, which is probably one of the best Bond uh, themes of all time. That'd be pretty cool if they did everything okay, for this all is the cool. games. Now it's going into Diamonds Are Forever, so we're seeing like a medley of uh, some of the famous Bond intro songs. They just called out Jaws, so he'll be in this. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, I dig I dig this intro for sure. Because I'm a, I'm a long-time Bond fan. I don't know about you, Reiner, but... Huge, I, yeah. huge James Bond fan. I have all of them on Blu-ray. Absolutely adore the series. And you and you like Call of Duty, right? And they use the Call of Duty yep. engine for this game. So seemingly... Engine, 60 frames per second. Absolutely. But so seemingly made for us, right? Well, Call of Duty's fast-paced action. I wouldn't say James Bond as a license has ever really True. embraced that. Also, it's it's sort of those one of those tricky things where it's it's an homage to the classic Bonds, but it's Daniel Craig, so it's it is Bond, but it isn't. Right. You know? What would be the ideal Bond type of game? It's that's hard to say. Would it I, be more like a heavy rain? Get rare back in there, you know what I mean? And I think they need yeah, to make Yeah, Goldeneye was good, but again, that wasn't really the James Bond experience. There's definitely shooting moments in the movies, but at the same time it's a slower moving story you know it's about developing characters and plots and, yeah. and espionage and stuff like that 
I, I could see, you know, I, a Bond game for me would have moments like the pre, the Prog mission in uh, Metal Gear 4 mixed with, like, Assassin's Creed, like, walking around and blending in with environments. Yeah, maybe more stealth, like Metal Gear, I could see working for, for this license. And then mixed with, like, some of the, uh, like, Mass Effect-style decisions, you know what I mean? Basically what Elf Protocol wanted to be. This is pretty cool right here. Yeah, no shortage of uh, cool Bond moments. Good for him, that truck came. <laughs> okay. Speaking of stealth, uh, exploding airplanes and running on trucks. So, where am I? I'm infiltrating someplace. Yeah, clearly. it's such a nice engine. Wow. Developed by Eurocom. The game is out today. I'm probably going to suck it first here until I get a decent weapon. There's uh, one. Yeah, pick that up. So Bond no longer likes his martinis shaken, not stirred. He's he's a Heineken guy, from what I hear in Skyfall. Yeah, I think Heineken probably paid a pretty good deal of money. To it was like forty million dollars. You know, he wants to pace himself now. He's off the hard liquor. You can't put an olive or a lemon twist in your Heineken, though. No, that's not how that works. I guess I've never tried it, but I don't think it'd be very good. I wouldn't recommend it. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay. Well, I didn't want to shoot you anyway, bud. So nothing... This already doesn't remind me of a Bond I'm experience at all. I'm already anymore. really confused. So it started out with Goldfinger. Now we're back into Skyfall, but he fell off a train after getting shot. That yeah. was a flash forward. Now we're flashed back. I guess so. I mean, this could be the Moonraker facility. They probably explained it to us. Um, I don't think they did. Or maybe no. they didn't. I don't know. So you got some CQC situations. Oh, does he have martyrdom on? What the hell happened there? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Excuse the game me, has sir. multiplayer, but Dan said it's just kind of bare bones. Not a lot to do. Not your Call of Duty experience. Yeah, there's better first-person shooters to play overall. I mean, like I said, like this game is clearly for... Bond fans, right? That also like shooting crap. Um, trying to cash in on, you know, sort of what Rare started with Goldeneye, you know, first person Bond game. But again, I just feel like if you're really big into classic Bond movies, this isn't this isn't the pure homage that you want. Right. Oh, right. Probably not Intel. Gonna, what do you want me to do? Shoot the. Oh. Okay, that's clever. Yeah, very resourceful bond. Okay. So, so I don't have, think Daniel Craig would do that. Uh, he's, he's a tough cookie. He re he is he's bringing back sort of the He would have dove through that door on fire. Yep. He's kind of like the Sean Connery bond, a little bit tougher. I had to follow that guy cuz there was a uh thing above his head. I so, like the, uh, the environments are very cool so far. Yeah, got lasers uh, working on airplanes. No it's arguments. like a Transformers factory. Making the aerial bots. The Autobot that loved me. Actually, a surprising amount of Transformers storylines that involve uh, human ladies falling in love with Autobots. Yeah, it's kind of disturbing, right? It's really disturbing. And then one of them, they go into a pond, and then the Transformer turns into a human and has robot feet still and then the lady goes into the pond and turns into a robot well just go back into the pond again yeah i don't know they just find out that it doesn't matter what you look like love is comes from the inside oh yeah it's a good message it was sea spray i think and no one loves sea spray <laughs> all right good message unless it's like family pets and then it just gets weird yep I illegal agree. i think so there's lots of ducking behind things and popping out and shooting guys, which are always my favorite parts of the Bond movies. So I'll say the gunplay is fine, you know? It's yeah. it's serviceable. Um, it's just reminding me sort of of Call of Duty, obviously. It's, which isn't a bad thing. It's, know, like I said, great great engine. The gameplay's always been fun. It's it's reliable. But it's not, it doesn't scream Bond to me. No. Like I can understand why they'd want to use this engine, but... I want a slow-moving Bond, story-driven Bond. Yeah. Bond with choice would be cool, too. Uh, I agree. 
Yeah, like, you know, what Obsidian, some of those ideas that Obsidian had with Alpha Protocol, but maybe uh, executed a little better. Shotgun. Uh, sh Bond never really wielded a shotgun in any of the... It's not a very <laughs> espionage-friendly tool. Can I shoot that? Yeah. Nice. Just sort of thumbing the chamber. All right. I need to get in there. Take the long way. Yeah. Make sure everybody's dead. Oh, God. Did they even explode? Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see that? That was weird. Yeah, it disappeared, and then you got blown up. Oh, well. Shake it off, Bond. Yeah, his mutant healing factor will... Uh... Or are you healing? Yeah, okay. It's yeah. just really slow. There was a classic option that um, didn't have regenerating health. That's cool. Um, so probably a little bit closer to Goldeneye. Uh, this doesn't seem too bad. It's not terrible. It must really go to uh, off rails uh, as it goes on. Like it's or a, to get a four from Dan. Yeah, exactly. And there must have been way more bugs. Um, it's a pretty serviceable shooter at this point, you know. Uh, uh what? It's, like it's an iPhone six or something. Match the modulating frequencies displayed on your smartphone to hack into the oh. device. Okay. Okay. So I have Keep to like in the green. I have there to use go. both triggers. Okay. And that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Left brain, right brain activity. And then computer terminal. What have you done, Bond? Oh, he's going to make the lasers go crazy. It's like a Pink Floyd show. Don't look at the laser. I wish just cats came out and started trying to chase down the laser beams. Just a swarm of cats. Oh, this oh, game oh. just doesn't slow down, does it? It's just no. It's kill everybody. Pretty, pretty steady. I'm gonna snipe him with a shotgun, Dan Riker style. <laughs> what are you saying about Dan? Don't play multiplayer with him. I'm talking about Dan playing Half Life and shooting oh. guys across the map with a sniper rifle. It's like, I, I've played. Uh, I think I played a Call of Duty with you a couple times. You're pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, we, we were having fun. You yeah, know, we were a good team. I yeah. think Dan was on our team, too, actually. Yeah, Dan's great, too. Um, we need to get that going again this fall. I'd yeah, say... I'm really looking forward to a new Call of Duty. Oh, God. There's always that two weeks that you play a bunch of it, or at least that's how it works with me, and then I'll play it on and off through through winter. Uh, I get pretty addicted to it. I like prestiging and all that. Well, I'm getting sick of prestiging now. Like, I want a new experience. I've never prestiged before. What? Yeah, I, I never have. I... There's just like this barrier between how consistently I'll play. I start getting super frustrated later later on. I'm trying to think of the multiplayer games I'll be playing this holiday, and it's that and Halo, I think. Yeah. I played like one match of Reach's multiplayer. Wait. Oh, stealth. Uh oh. See, now this is what Bond should be about, though. Right. You know, there was actually some cool ideas for stealth in the GoldenEye game um, for Wii. Like, it wasn't terribly executed. There's some cool stealth kills and stuff. Um, it wasn't perfect, but I saw, like, the seeds for some cool ideas. So we'll see how it plays out in this one. So basically, avoid the 2D men. Mm -hmm. Play Intelligent Cube. When your enemies are preoccupied or unaware of your presence, you can pass them by using... Preoccupied by techniques. meaning looking the wrong... Remain the other way. Yeah. They're, they're too busy trying to figure out what happened to their third dimension. <laughs> Use a silence I was 3D this morning. <laughs> Swear to God, I woke up in 3D. And I ate that grapefruit. <laughs> it was great 2D. Advantage. It will take longer for an enemy to identify you when you're in shadow. Okay, so stick <laughs> so basically, shadow. Stealth as in direct any other game ever created. Right. Man, I remember the first time that I figured out that the lighting was important for Splinter Cell stealth, and you're just shooting out every light. Yep. It was so satisfying. And kind of terrifying, just standing out there like, oh man, that guy's mm -hmm. going to see me. And the guys would walk like within three feet of you. Yeah, I still, I still uh, appreciate the slower moving stealth games. You don't see a lot of them anymore. But. Right. Mark of the Ninja, obviously. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, rare 2D stealth uh, if a camera operator sees a body, they will also send So basically nothing new yet here. <laughs> <laughs> Cone of vision. 
Switch. But for Call of Duty fans, they're probably like, what is happening? Yeah, I don't. I mean, if you love Call of Duty, I don't know if you're going to fall over yourself for a stealth sequence. Well, let's see how it does in, in uh, Call of Duty engine. Bond, there is a Duck. motion tracking radar built into your wristwatch. You're making yellow Use noise. To identify the location of your enemies. Uh. Punch him in the butt. Uh, Punch you in the back of the neck. That's how I deal with my problems. Uh, I can't loot in this. Oh, you can't. What? Oh. The sniper rifle with. You know how cool a Call of Duty game would be with loot, like Borderlands, like loot. Oh. Yeah. That's talking dirty. That, that we could, can't. We can't go down this path. Tim. That could be cool. The the problem is, is that. Every gun ends up pretty much being the same in Call of Duty. Everyone's pretty much a machine gun. But you, like could, for have the faster, you could have faster reloads. Yeah, for, fire the, bullets. For, for multiplayer, for sure. But it doesn't seem to affect single player that much in my experience anyway. It's like either I have a shotgun or a machine gun. What's that? Well, this game clearly doesn't ruin the movie for you. I have no idea what's going on, where we're at. Yeah, or which... I think which we're going to fight the Liquid Terminator here. Oh, I'm ready. I'm gonna shoot you. Nice shooting, kid. Good night. Uh oh. Who? Orange alert. I'm going to check something out. What? I think that's bad. What is it pointing at? I think it's George Bush's uh, Wheel of Terror. I think orange is oh. the second highest. God, I'm not ready for that. Is it amber? Okay. All right. So I guess you can only carry a pistol and um, sprint primary weapon. Oh, okay, two weapons. Shoot. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Bond carrying more than two guns. Oh, no, he has three. I'm sorry. Interesting. Just putting one between his legs and squeezing and just kind of shooting yep. along. Oh. This is annoying. I'm not equipped for this. Oh. Ooh. Sniper fight. All right, I'm gonna go in guns blazing. Don't forget about your grenades. I haven't figured out how to throw those yet. Uh oh, this is sort of just a. I guess. I guess there is a mark. What does your watch do? It says it's like up on the D-pad. Does it have a little laser on there? <laughs> well, it gave you a, a radar. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. So it shows me where my objective is and stuff. Ragdoll. Nice. I just shoot people's legs. Bond is bulletproof. Yeah, he's got a pretty generous um, chunk of health here. Optimus Prime. Okay. I need to go downstairs somewhere. The yellow Prime. Like him and Bumblebee. Yep. Mm -hmm. They merged. <laughs> anyway, this is uh photo. This is my version of stealth. Go take your photo in front of that. Where is Sir, can you can you hold my camera and take a shot, please? <laughs> Look at me here. Hold on. Hold this. Uh this is like an electromagnetic thing. Is this steam punk device? There it is. Snap it. Trying to figure out Bam. what button they want. Bam. Does it have to turn green? Oh, maybe. Right trigger just zooms. Oh, there. Oh, specific part. Bond okay. Zero, six. I've got the evidence. I'll take more pictures. So this reminds me of Goldeneye a little bit. Yep. Boom. And one more. Beautiful. Transmitting now. And what's next? Received your transmission, 007. While we I'm kind of excited data, to see Skyfall. I'll be honest about that. I'm really excited. I'm hearing great things. Really? Well, uh, yeah, the initial reviews, it was at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, no kidding. But I think it was only like eight or nine reviews. But at the same time, people are some people are comparing it to like Dark Knight type of hype. You know, like it's just really great. Like one of the best Bond movies ever. Really? Yep. Yeah. You know, I know Quantum of Solace didn't uh, make people too happy overall compared to Casino Royale. I, I didn't mind Quantum of Solace. I don't remember much of it actually. 
Did you like that one? Uh, I couldn't stand Quantum. Really? Yeah, I really couldn't stand it at all. I what? thought it was shot poorly. Like, the action was hard to follow. Really? Um, is that the one where the guy was going after water? If you wanted to take all the world's water? That sounds... That might have been a dream, too. I that don't sounds know. fine. <laughs> if it's not a bond, it ought to be. I don't know. You know, the the Pierce ones were okay yeah. until the last one. It just got so ridiculous. The guy with the diamonds in his face. Oh, I was right in the submarine and crap. He's like on a toboggan out running a laser in the North Pole or something. <laughs> that sounds That sounds like surfing on airplane debris. And Yeah. The Goldeneye was like my favorite Bond, oh, so good. but the rest of the browsing ones weren't great. See, I grew up watching as a young kid, watching the Roger Moore stuff. Oh, Roger Moore is my favorite Bond. And uh, then going back, watching Sean, Sean Connery and loving those two. Um, then I had to live through the Living Daylights. Um, Which is, I think, oh, Timothy Dalton's like oof. one of the worst bonds. Yeah, those are bad. I'm not trying with the stealth very hard here, I'll, I'll be honest. So don't let well, my playthrough be a super close. I mean, oh, this God. definitely looks like a plain Jane action game with the Bond skin over the top of it. Doesn't seem bad in my opinion so far. No, it's not. I'm not hating myself for playing it. And you're the master of arms, apparently, Tim. Thank you. I don't think we need to see any more. I think that's a pretty good look at it. Yeah, um, I, think, I think this is about what you can expect throughout. Yeah. Probably some more, you know, some more nods to classic movies, like, you know, having Jaws probably bend a bar. I'm curious how it gets down to a 4 out of 10. Must be a lot of bugs coming yeah, down the pipe. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, Tim, for playing. Yeah. Thanks again, Jason, for producing the video. And thank you all for watching. And we'll be back next week with more Test Chambers.